the spotlight. It's all about Marilyn Living. Welcome to Maryland Spotlight. I'm Kim Knight. While eyesight is precious to everyone, not everyone is lucky enough to see as clearly as they would like. An estimated 12 million people have turned to LASIK surgery to correct their vision. But the FDA estimates that 20 to 30 percent of those patients suffered complications. Dr. Erwin Asman has made it his goal to help patients for whom LASIK surgery did more harm than good. Hi, Miss Dawn, how are you? My vision was very, very poor. Couldn't see anything without glasses. Eventually, I decided that I was going to go and have LASIK. Uh, it didn't work the way that I uh, had hoped that it would, and so I had it done a second time. Thinking about LASIK surgery, there are two major side effects that'll happen to every patient, but they'll happen into different degrees or severity, okay? One is dry eyes, and one is glare. Just look straight ahead, please. You're changing the structure of the cornea itself from one shape to another shape. And by making that change in shape of the cornea, you're automatically creating some glare problems and dry eyes. I've always had problems with glare from uh, oncoming headlights, um, stoplights, especially rain. And a lot of people do, but mine in intensified after I had this LASIK to the point that I couldn't drive down a street. Most of the patients that I see have been to three, four other eye doctors, and they don't get any help. We tried everything, soft lenses, hard lenses, piggybacks. This is a scleral lens. My husband said, why don't you give up? And Dr. Asman said, I don't want to give up. So we fitted her with scleral contact lenses, which basically minimized the glow effect, the halo effect, the starburst effect, where now she can function every day. I put them on, and I said, wow. He said, how is it? I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can see. You see the difference in the glare? It's amazing. A lot less. My message to the public for any person that had RK or LASIK and that's suffering from complications that has basically restricted their um, movement around the world for enjoyment, for work, whatever it is, there's hope for them. And if anyone has told you that this is what you have to live with, don't accept it there is hope for your eyes. It's amazing. I've gone to a multitude of doctors over the years who have told me they could do nothing for my eyes, that I just had to live with it. And then I found Dr. Asman, and he did do something about it. And he has changed my life. See you ladies later. One characteristic that separates Dr. Erwin Asman from other eye care specialists is that he neither avoids nor declines the challenges of treating patients with post-LASIK problems. He's willing to spend the time with each patient and provides care with a perfectionist performance, ensuring they get the best care possible. Thanks for joining us on Maryland Spotlight. I'm Kim Knight.